The next thing we need to do is configure the BIM360 project because the, the, we need a BIM360 project for the plant project to be installed. So when you access BIM360 design, you should be able to uh, get into a uh, BIM360 design a docs environment. So let's go over to the web browser again and I will load my environment. So come into here and I'm going to type in here BIM360. BIM and what you're looking for is BIM360 enterprise.com uh, or something similar in your environment. Again, go into the manage.autodesk.com, finding the BIM360 design in here, and access now she will bring you to the same place. Now, if you're an admin, uh, you will have access to the uh, account admin there, and you can then go through and set up various bits and pieces. Uh, once you're there, uh, you'll notice there's uh, a bunch of things, projects, members, companies, roles, analytics, etc. And it will probably vary depending on your particular system. Now, if I just drop back to the slideshow for a moment and we look at the roles, what you want to do if you're an account admin is, like I said, select the account admin section if you're not already there. We want to then select roles and you can add roles in here. Now, as an example, we've put in BIM360 Docs Admin, a Model Editor, a PNID Editor, and a Project Admin. And what you'll notice is you can add those by adding a, a role into number three, hitting Add, and that will get added, created in there. And you need to set up the permissions under these sections here. Now, that is uh, the blue person means they have standard person access. The gold cog means they're an administrator, full access. Uh, it's important uh, for later, so just be aware of that. As we're going through and configuring those things, we, we actually do recommend using roles because we can now set up folder-based permissions for the projects. Now, the first thing we need to do is set up the project, um, and we'll come back to this slideshow in a moment. Okay, so when you're in BIM360 and the account admin, we want to create a project. So selecting on the projects tab, we hit add project and then we come in here, demo, and I'll put some random numbers in. It tells me the name is valid. I will select demo type from in here. Of course, you can pick an appropriate version. There is training ones as well and the language. Now I've got English. There are numerous languages for the configuration. Hit save and continue, and that's going to create that project for me. Now we need to activate a service. Now for these plant projects, all we need is the document management. And I'm going to put me in there and just take that out for a moment. And you need a project administrator for every project. So you need to have somebody that's already part of the account, uh, likely yourself, add that person. And when you're finished, uh, you can hit finish. Now the project will be in there and I'm going to put my other project back in. So if I search there, I can search for my project. This is my default project. You can see all my colleagues here internally. And what I want to look at next is members. So we can add members and we can put them in here. I'll pick that profile for a moment and then hit select. We need to add a, a company and a role, and we can see now that we've got the plant 3D roles here. And again, that, that icon there, which is coming from the role. All right, once you're done there, you hit add to project, and that person is added. Next thing we want to do is go over to the project folders. So if we uh, go to document management, then we can do project folder setup. Before we go down that path, let's go back to the presentation. So as a project, we, have restrict, we can restrict users' access to certain folders uh, or subfolders. And you can see here, as an example, in the project folder, we've got the docs and the plant project admins as having high-level access in the PNID or the plant editor. And you can go into the more details if you go into the folder permissions section of the BIM360 learnings, uh, which we'll cover in a moment. As an example, this is how we've set up our default project, which is and the plant project folder. We're giving the docs project admin person full control, the plant project person edit control. So it's view, download, upload, edit, the plant 3D editor and the 
uh, PNID editor only have view at that level, which means they can't update project settings. An example for PNID drawings here, so this person has view, download, upload and edit permissions where the 3D modeler only has view and that is inverted for the 3D models section. Also consider things like isometrics, orthos and the project recycle bin when you're configuring that. Uh, we also we already talked about adding people in there, but just as a reminder, so you've got to go to the project admin first, enter those people into here, and they don't have to be members because they can be brought in from external, add a company, add a role, now the roles have to exist in the system to be added, and make sure that they have this docs uh, permissions set to there. If they're an admin, they will have the gold cog instead. All right, and when you're done, hit add to project and you're finished.